Hello everybody and welcome to another e-workshop, an international Nail Talk Live e-workshop. It's the month of January, that means that our focus is on the gel polish collection of magnetic nail design. And because of that, I asked Joanna from Ireland to come to the Netherlands to do a special ombre gel polish show, especially for you. So we're going to show you various techniques, we're going to show you easier and more complicated versions of the ombre. We're going to work a lot with the glass gel polishes, which are truly amazing and a must-have for each and every nail tech. And I'm very excited because I have the first winners of the Nail Talk Live e-workshop challenge of Syriza of two weeks ago. So a lot of ground to cover, a lot to do, a lot of fun things. We're going to get started. So a whole evening doing ombre. Well, ombre is a technique we used to call this fading or blending of colors. In my past, it was called a fading technique. And um, a couple of years ago, around about seven, eight years ago, people started doing this with gel polish. It was one of the few techniques that I thought I could do easily, but then I tried to do it for a photo shoot and it was actually the most horrible nail I ever did. And since then, I'm really, fascinated about ombre designs with the wet medium gel polish and blending the colors in each other. I used to be a, an acrylics man and working with acrylic powders it's easier to do an ombre, at least it was for me, than it is nowadays with gel polishes. But my guest trainer of this evening has a few uh, yeah, tips and tricks down her sleeve and she's going to take us away into the world of ombre but first before we do that of course joanna i want to say hello to you for your very first time in nail talk live hello and good evening thank you for having me over and i'm so excited a little bit nervous but excited to show you the technique what i wanted to tell everybody is that how long have you been a magnetic trainer uh, since 2013 2013, so that's 11 years now and counting. Yes. And in those 11 years, you've done a lot. Uh, what is your most preferred technique to do? I, I used to love mm, acrylic the most, like you, but fine. And um, because of your uh, love for acrylic, I was, um, yeah, as, as well, <laughs> um, following the same system. But as magnetic grew and I knew you uh, joined uh, magnetic and I knew you before magnetic so then my um, con my gr my love for every other system uh, also grew as well as um, as magnetic grew so I, I actually love all the s systems all the products and um, I love mixing them as well so I think I don't have one favorite. <laughs> you don't have one favorite, but today your favorite has to be the ombre technique. Yes. So uh, let's get started with the first design while everybody is finding us back again. And Gillian will check also the internet feed that it stays in control. So you already prepared the tip and you yes. prepared the dip using whitest white and a strange product. Yes. So I used uh, whitest white as a um, base. So normally when you were making uh, nails in the salon, it will have to follow, of course, uh, prepping the nail, then a base coat, and then the, um, uh, all of them um, will have to be, um, base coat will have to be cured. And then um, white gel polish, uh, which I used here in this case. And then I sprayed reinforcing powder. Reinforcing powder. Re sorry, reinforcing powder. <laughs> And uh, this was cured. So I sprayed the reinforcing powder on the wet, thin layer. Then it was cured. And now I have kind of a rough surface. Yeah. And because the particles, some of them weren't cured, I need to brush off the excess. And I'm using a beautiful pink brush. Yeah, and so it's a little bit coarser, the surface, yes. almost like a file. Yes. It's uh, not very clear to see, but why do you do this with reinforcing powder and not, for instance, with acrylic powder or sugar look powder? Yes, yeah, so a reinforcing, a reinforcing powder is a little bit finer, and <coughs> I prefer it because when you will work with the surface, you will know what I mean, that um, acrylic is a little bit rougher and inconsistent, and in my opinion, the reinforcing powder is just m better and easier to use. 
Okay, and, you're, and why are you using the reinforcing powder? Because we understand it's coarser, but why, why do you prefer to work in this way? Well, the one I'm using, it's actually in the spray form. So the spray is just easier to use. It's less mess as well. And the surface, you want a little bit rougher because it grips to the gel polish easier? I can imagine. Yes, rougher surface, but also even surface. So acrylic powder doesn't have that evenness. It doesn't give me that evenness, if that's the word, in on the surface. And rain uh, reinforcing powder is just much better. Okay, of course, you have to be careful when you use reinforcing powder or acrylic powder that you don't use too much around the cuticle because this can lead to lifting. Yes. So you just use it sparingly as a thin coat in the super thin white to white gel polish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Ombre, we have, yes. le let's say, the canvas done, and what now? So the next step, I'm going to use um, gel polishes colors, and those that I picked, it is um, Bloody Mary, Grapefruit, um, Yellow Champagne, and White. That's a cool combination. Bloody Mary, Watermelon, and uh, Champagne Yellow. And these colors, they have beautiful coverage, especially Bloody Mary, it's very, very deep color. So I'm gonna use the least of that color as it's gonna be the deepest. And Tracy Ogan is also watching yeah. us from South Africa oh, and hello, she says, Tracy. hello again, my dear friend. We have people, somebody asked, where are you watching from? And we have Sweden, we have Germany, we have Denmark, we have Switzerland, France, uh, Romania, Ireland. So yeah. We are all present here. So the Bloody Mary. Yes. Yeah. So first I will apply a little bit of Bloody Mary and I will follow with other colors. I'm going to apply tiny little bit here. Oh, that's actually even already too much. And I'm not applying on the corners because I don't really need this there. I will go on, I'm going to blend them anyway. Then I will apply here a little bit more underneath. Um, and this one is grapefruit color. A little bit more. So you're really dividing the nail surface in parts. Yes, because there is a little bit of, um, how would you say, thickness with those gel polishes already. And I'm not paying too much attention if this is too thick or too thin. And I'm leaving a little bit gap in between. Yeah, I see. Yeah, because... But is this enough to do the whole surface of the tip? Yes, and we're going to repeat that um, step as well. So we will work mostly with the, with the pigment. And then mm, if it's not enough, then we'll repeat the steps uh, just to fill the gaps. Because remember, our surface is already rough and we need to fill the gaps in between the roughness. Okay, so... Aren't we excited to see that? Um, I see a lot of people, Denmark, um, what was it? Uh, Germany, Slovenia, Susterberg, Syriza, Belgium is present, Sarajevo is present, Aruba is present, Italy is present, Belgium is present, and Ingeborg is present. Hello, Ingeborg, I hope you're feeling a little bit better. And she's complimenting us because we're looking so good. Well, ah, you are looking so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank let's you so much. Yeah, let's do the actual blending because which brush do you prefer for this? I'm using with this technique, I'm using ombre brush and that's the ombre brush over here. So I'm the way I'm going to use it, I'm going to blend those all the colors um, following uh, d downwards to the tip of the mm, of the tip. And I'm also going to use a little bit of a brush wipe and I'll be cleaning. Let me show you. I'll be cleaning the brush like this, just wiping it off. And I'll be repeating it very often and I'll be kind of off camera. So I'm starting with the uh, Bloody Mary. Just tap, 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 tap. It's a little bit more pressing it down to the surface. And I know already I have a little bit too much of the product. So I am removing it and wiping it. And you're actually patting it down. Yes, patting it down. Like that. I'm, I'm more pressing than patting it. Okay. Yeah. Pushing it in Pushing the surface. Pushing it, yes. Because the surface is rough and I want to fill it in. Because later I want to, at the end of the whole process, I want to have a nice and smooth nail. Uh, Naomi, uh, Naomi O'Connor is asking, could you also use a sponge at this moment? 
Yes, um, I'm sure you could use a sponge. And I know this is one of the techniques that loads of people is using, but my favorite is actually to use the brush. And I will tell you why. Yeah. The brush is more professional and you will have less. Uh, it may sometimes take a little bit more time, but you also have to charge for ombre. So that's already fine. And um, maybe not so many nail technicians does it. So you also stand out from the crowd. And it's, in my opinion, more neater. You can, if it's on a side, you can swipe that excess of uh, gel polish yeah. and just clean it. Yeah. So. Uh, Joanna is constantly cleaning her brush mm -hmm. with the brush wipe that's a little bit out of screen mm -hmm. in order to clean the hair of the brush so that she can continue to the next color and to prevent too much of discoloration. Mm -hmm. But of course, this already looks beautiful, Joanna. <laughs> it looks almost like it has a little shine to it. I'm a perfectionist and I prefer to blend a little bit more, but maybe that's too much. <laughs> but yes, it's... Um, now it's time to put it into the lamp for yeah. a couple Alexandra of also says, I love the color combination. I love the com combination as well. I saw it this afternoon also. A time, time, good training for me, Milena says to all of us. Uh, Sriza is very proud of the whole international community that's now watching us. Uh, Priscilla says, proud to be a little part of the magnetic family. Well, you are a part of the family, Priscilla. Uh, Henriette is, of course, watching. Armenia is also present. Wow. Well, Joanna is sitting over there. So if you see me doing <laughs> this all the time, it's because I want to connect to Joanna. And I'm very glad that most of the people actually found us back. We had some internet difficulties before we went or with our first live attempt. But I hear little peep of the twin light. That was 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that is enough for such a thin coat of gel polish, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's definitely enough. And magnetic gel polishes, they're full of pigment. So we actually work more with the pigment here. So that was flash cure, I would say, as well. But 30 seconds is definitely enough for a thin layer of gel polish. So that's perfect. And now I apply a tiny little bit more. And basically repeat the same. And again, it will be very, very thin layer. Sebastian uh, says, good evening, everybody. Good so that's evening. fun that your husband um, and I see Omer is just my favorite, Henriette. Uh, I see a lot of translations going. Look at how beautiful and thin this application is now. Wow. And Omer is the best in the whole world. Nadia Munk from Denmark says, woohoo. Woo and I have to say that it seems like the reinforcing powder is really making a big difference here. Yes. It's, it's I think it's finer, um, finer mm, making it finer surface, but more even. And it also, I like when everything is professional. And by magnetic, everything is professional. So when using reinforcing powder, it makes it more professional. And yeah, you stand out from the crowd. <laughs> yeah, and I have a question from um, Sylvia. Sylvia, why did you first use the white gel polish? The white gel polish was there, a very thin coat. And then um, Joanna sprayed reinforcing powder in this wet coat of white white, making it a little bit rougher. Mm -hmm. And that helps with the ombre. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to you. The white also is a good background for the colors, of course, yes. because the colors really pop. Yes, that's what I was going to say. That's why I use the white. And I like using the lightest color that is, that is in the color combination. So even if I had only two colors over here, I still would use white as the, as the base coat because these colors are actually more neon. And for neon colors, you do need very often white um, background. And I also have a question from Magda. No reinforcing powder anymore uh, to repeat it. No, it was just over the white, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Only in the first coat. Mm -hmm. Very professional, Maria Pop says. Sylvia is thanking us. Uh, Mandy is asking us, is it also a possibility to buff the surface of the uh, tip? Um, I... Do you mean like buff the surface of the tip before the uh, ombre application? Because uh, to buff the tip for the actual color pop, I use primer and then there's no need to buff the tip. But if it's for the ombre, maybe the surface is not rough enough. I think I would say it's not rough enough. 
because then you have to, with ombre, the, the reason we're using acrylic powder is then to fill, uh, or uh, reinforcing powder, is then to fill in the surface, fill in the gaps in between the particles of either acrylic or reinforcing powder. Yeah, I have here a little sketch that I made in the meantime. Let me see if I can show it. Yes, so y this, is, this is the surface of the nail and the particles on top of it. And now we just want to fill the particles in between. Mm -hmm. While if we scratch the surface, of course, we'll have a different way of filling the surface. So I really want to try this ombre technique with the reinforcing powder. I'm team Joanna, I'm going to do it. And I see already in the comments that people are asking for master classes of you <laughs> here in Holland with the ombre technique. So perhaps you have to come back a little bit more often. Oh, you're already back in the light. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll be honored to show you more techniques because I don't think we have enough time today to show all the mm, methods of uh, ombre. And I have to say, when Pepine asked me about uh, ombre, and I said, no, what will I show? Something, maybe something different. And then I'm like, started to doing this and trying this and trying that. I'm like, oh, I actually love ombre more than I thought. And I spent actually three days to preparing different tips and different colors. and. I don't think we have enough time today to show them <laughs> all. <laughs> you brought a lot of tips with you. <laughs> yes. I have a question of uh, Wendy. Wendy, you're asking, is this powder, reinforcing powder, specifically made for ombre? Well, no. Yeah. Reinforcing powder is made to reinforce or strengthen, versterken, of the base coat of gel before you apply gel polish. Mm -hmm. That's also why it's important that you go, don't go too close to the cuticle as this can cause lifting because it becomes too hard. And Joanna found this as a trick to use it with the, with the ombre, making it a lot easier. So if you need more in ex explanation, contact me in Dutch through a messenger and I will explain it to you. Uh, Nadia says there are so many ways to do an ombre, but the most important thing is the perfect ombre brush. Yes. This is magical. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, brush is very important, also how you use it. Okay, could I please have the name of the powder? I missed it, that is reinforcing powder, it. Anna. Let's show it again underneath. That's this product, the reinforcing powder spray for gel and gel polish. Yep, 35 grams. 35 grams. We also have it in a jar mm -hmm. with a little spatula, but this is easier in use. Mm -hmm. Okay, fast forward. You chose this color combination also because it's almost Valentine's Day yes. and we all fall in love again. And you want to show us your finished designs. Yes. So this is the fin finished design. And I have here, it's exactly the same color combination, exactly the same way. These two uh, tips on the side, they are grapefruit. And here you have one without any design, and there's just proposition with a uh, fast liner gel, a couple of white lines, and two hearties also with um, reinforcing powder. Yeah, but now with but Mace Choice. It, and Mace Choice um, gel polish, yes. On top of the um, on top of the top coat. Very nice. Yeah. Very lovely, very sweet. Thank you. I would love to have this on my nails. Just as Maria, who's going on a Caribbean cruise in a couple of weeks, and she also says in the comments, I want this, uh, this on my vacation nails. And somebody else is asking, if I don't have the reinforcing powder, could I also use acrylic powder? Yes, you can yes. use acrylic powder. Use clear powder. Then it doesn't interfere with the color of your design clear powder and just a light sprinkling and again not too close at the cuticle because that may cause lifting. Before we continue I'll first go into the homework for this ombre show tonight. The homework is very clear, make a little screenshot for yourself, create a set of five nails of which three nails are done in the ombre technique. We prefer a nude pink or red shades but you can surprise us with a, a, a whole collection of colors with a small touch of Valentine's Day nail art. So a small touch of Valentine's Day nail art. And this can be done on color pops or on a model on a real hand. So five nails, three of those with an ombre design and with a touch of Valentine. Surprise us. As usual, you have two, works to create, two weeks to create your homework. And the deadline is on February 7th. Use the link that you can find in the album ombre in the group to upload your homework. 
If it needs improvement or any adjustment, Jessica will contact you and you will get another chance to participate. And do not forget to submit your step-by-step -step photos, no more than four or five photos and one final photo to show your homework together. And now I need to have the camera back because I heard from my colleague Katri that not all the photos were properly done. So we need maximum four or maximum five step-by-step -step photos and one end result photo, but it needs to be a full screen photo. So preferably hold your phone like this to make the photo, make the photo and then uh, we can use it also when, when you win to show everybody what you made. So that's an important part of the homework. If you do that, of course, you will get your e-certificate and you have a chance to win this amazing prize selected by Joanna. It's the Glitter Spray Holo Gold Gel Polish Base and Top, one of the glass gel polishes and that amazing ombre brush that we all love. So a very nice kit for you to start doing the designs that Joanna will show you tonight. Isn't that fun? Well, next week, I will be joined by our international queen of nail art, Jessica. And Jessica is going to take us into the world of the gel polish art basics. Of course, it's the month of gel polish and she's going to show us how to use gel polish in a nail art uh, variation. So be there next week because we all love Jessica. For the month of February, we also have our e-workshops ready for you. The first one in the month of February will be Henriette coming from Denmark and her workshop is called Insta Famous. She's going to show us some of her most popular nail art designs that were really a hit on Insta in the reels. And of course, everybody knows Henriette is a total sweetheart and is always an inspiration for all of us. The week after that, Ceriza will join me and she will create the baby boom nail, the perfect baby boom nail using power gel. And why power gel? Because February is the month of power gel, product of the month of February. A week later, Natalia Gritsenko will come from the south of Holland right here to the, to the heart of the Netherlands and she will create a power gel elegance nail with a beautiful mesmerizing inlay design. So Natalia is a total sweetheart, the trainer of trainers, and she will take us into the world of inlay. To end the month of February, Demi, one of our Dutch trainers, very talented, will participate in the e-workshop and she will do the refill of a baby boom nail and also the reshaping. So suppose you did a baby boom nail, we all know it's white and pink and many layers on top of each other, and now the nails have grown out. How can you fix that easily, fast, and also reconstruct the nail as it were. Demi will show all of her tics and tips and tricks. And you know, every Friday, these shows will also be made available with subtitles. You can either just go to YouTube Magnetic Nail Talk and just find the show and choose your desired subtitles. And I believe we have 17 different languages. Then you can watch it with subtitles, but also our distributors throughout Europe will share their version with the with the uh, subtitles in edited inside the show, so you don't need to choose anything. It's all done for you, and you can just enjoy yourself. I would do it on a Sunday afternoon with a nice cup of tea, just playing around in my nail studio. This month is the month of gel polish, and that means, of course, that you get 20% discount when you choose your desired gel polish shades. So. Enough said about that. Go to our distributors or go to magneticnaildesign.com to buy your gel polish because magnetic gel polish are really just the very best there are. You, uh, you saw you can apply them super thinly and we have also very special gel polishes. And I think, Joanna, that our next venture tonight is into a very special range of gel polishes. Yes. So, I have... For the next, uh, for the next um, step, it's completely different way of doing ombre. I don't know if you've ever tried this. This is just beautiful. I love glitter. <laughs> I adore Who glitter. Doesn't? My Who motto doesn't? in life is in if in doubt, add glitter. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. That's really good. So I added that glitter, and it's a lot of it. And in this case, we have the glass gel polishes. And here I have for you um, gold uh, glitter spray, the holographic gold, the finest gold that we have. 
and I absolutely just tried it and I said, oh, well, maybe it would be nice to show something else, something different, and what other powders do we have? And let's see how that goes. So I have a tip prepared, and this, um, this will be just to show you step by step how I did the other tips that I just showed you. So again, I have a tip. Uh, you don't rough up the surface. No, but you fine. No, because, um, well, I don't like the dust. And uh, it's so much easier and nicer when you just apply perfect magnetic primer. Ah, soft bone primer. Yes. And that makes it stick to the surface. Yes. Oh, I love that trick. <laughs> and which colored glass are you now going to use? I'm using burgundy. Ah, oh, burgundy. Mm, burgundy. Again, very thin layer. So this is a big tip. So I just cover it with very, very thick, thin layer. Yeah, I sometimes think that we forget a little bit about the glass gel polishes. But the glass gel polishes can change all of your colors and glitters into a custom-made color or glitter. Because you can mix it, you can use it over glitter, under glitter, next to glitter. Mix it with glitter. Mix it with <laughs> glitter. Inlay, onlay. Everything, <laughs> on your rhinestones, everything. I've seen in the last years many uses of the glass gel polishes. But I also see that you're sitting there ready with your hollow spray. Yes. So I have already very thin layer of my um, glass gel polish. And I will spray. And I hope the spray will work after... Being in the uh, plane, it probably was shook a lot, but I am yes, just so you spray it in the wet gel polish, wet gel polish, glass gel polish, glass gel polish all over it. Spray, 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 a bit more. And uh, I have a question from uh, Gillian why don't you spray it in the sticky layer instead of in the wet gel polish? Oh, because it really needs to go into the gel polish and glitter it's a little bit heavy well i wouldn't say it's very heavy but it's a little bit heavy and it's more of it will stick in the wet layer of gel polish rather than on a sticky layer and if it sticks on the stays on the sticky layer uh, actually you can remove it with the next application of color yeah so when you spray it on the sticky layer it is just on top of the nail if you spray it in the wet layer, it goes inside the surface of the nail yes. and it becomes an unbreakable bond of happiness and gel polish and glitter. Well, isn't that a match made in heaven, gel polish and glitter together? Um, so you need another 30 seconds for this? Yes, I'm going to cure it in the lamp. And in the meantime, I also can show you because these were two colors. These are two colors, all of them. It is one layer of um, glass yeah. gel polish underneath, then the gold glitter. Just like you showed us yes. now. Yes. And then there is there will be one layer on top. Uh, one uh, uh, Yes, one layer of, uh, or, or two layers of the same gel polish um, near the cuticle area. So it's a, an effective way of doing it. Keep them in. I want the screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Just position them correctly because I love the blue. I okay. adore the blue. I, I, I love. Yeah, let's get them all nice in. So, people, this is just a thin coat of glass gel polish, mm -hmm. then spray it with hollow uh, gold, and then another coat of the same glass gel polish. Isn't that effective? Let's go. Three, two, one. Screenshot. I just do it lower than <laughs> I do normally <laughs> because th then I don't crack up. I love this. I adore it. Okay, let's go back. Because oh the lamp was ready. Yes, so it's all cured. And I use, again, my magic brush and remove a lot, as much as you can, because the gel uh, the um, glitter might be, sometimes there is too, mu too much of it. So it's rougher and thicker than either acrylic or... S so it's now, let's say, sugared. Yes, it's sugared. It's a sugared nail. Sugar. Let's have a look <laughs> from the side view. Yeah, it's nice and, 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 and almost mattish. Mm -hmm. But you see the particles are much, much bigger. Uh, Magda is asking, could you also use a different glitter spray, like mermaid spray? Well, Magda, we're actually going to use that a little bit yes. later. So hold on to your seats. <laughs> yeah, we're going to show that. So now I removed the, um, the excess and I will apply a little bit more of the same glass gel polish. And I'm going to apply a little bit here. 
if you are afraid that you're gonna contaminate the brush with yeah. anyway maybe some little particles that are left and you're gonna contaminate it um, into the into the gel bottle then you can use the beautiful beautiful nail art palette and work from the palette and work from the palette exactly okay trevor is saying that he has um, pink glass and yellow glass yes a uh, tracy loves mermaid it's a uh, exquisite amazing maria says can we use semi-transparent blushes for this it's a question of armina from uh, um, armenia yerevan could we use uh, the, uh, the semi-transparent blushes? I think so. Eh? Absolutely. I'll definitely give it a try. I didn't, um, I didn't have enough time to try them all, uh, but I'm sure you can try it. But I think you have to be very, very um, careful because blushes are a little bit thicker. So maybe work on the thickness and don't apply them too thick. Okay, so be careful of the thickness. And Trevor, you could also use Blush Revenge for this. Yes. Uh, I'm very curious to see what you're going to make when you do that combination. Can this be done with acrylic? Oh, Mia Marie is just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes we need to make jokes. <laughs> so we're using, again, the burgundy. Yes. You applied it at a cuticle, and we have to see what happens. Yes, also I just have for Trevor to, s to show, you have pink and yellow. So this is what you could do, pink and yellow. Especially for you, Trevor. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I applied a little bit. Well, maybe not a little bit. It, there is a l uh, um, tiny little bit on the on the surface. And uh, what else I'm gonna apply? It's base and oh. top. Oh yeah, it's also part of your price. But what are you going to do with the base and top then? Then I'll let me show you. So I am taking a bit of top uh, base on top and applying it here underneath because all I'm using is the same the same um, transparent gel polish underneath and on top and for me to blend it easier yeah. on top of the surface I just apply base on top because I'm not going to the to the bottom of the tip and that's why the um, uh, base on top it um, it will help me to blend the color more. It, it's well, like a, 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 a lubrication almost for the fading. Yes. I wouldn't know a different word. <laughs> yeah, sorry. F a filler. A filler, a yes, filler. thank you. That sounds better. <laughs> so I am using, again, my um, ombre brush, and I'm going, ping the space and going down until I will meet. Until the two meet. Until the two meet. You meet <laughs> again. Don't know where. Don't know gel polish. For ah. Valentine's. Ah. Um, it, it's, it's bam, done. Done. <laughs> Isn't that easy? Da, that, is, that is amazingly easy. Da -da -da. Just, I, I have to um, stress one thing. I yeah. used the base and top here. Because if you don't use enough of, yeah. I, I use here uh, um, enough at the moment, but if you use a very thin layer, and probably on the real nail, it would be better to use two layers of, um, of this blend here. Yeah. Then um, it's too much of this part. It's too thick compared mm -hmm. to the bottom. So that's why when you use the base and top, it fills in the roughness of the um, glitter. Smoothing out the surface, as yes. it were. Otherwise, of course, you would have a very bump at the cuticle yes. and then almost a hollow free edge. Absolutely. And the base and top already fills that up for us. Yes. But it's just the moment you met the base and top, it was like, buff, ombre. And done. I like this. So I applied a little bit more um, base on top over here. Just remember, um, it could be contaminated, that um, base on top, that, that gel could be contaminated when you put back the brush into the bottle. Yeah. So what I have, I have another, um, another top coat that I'm using, soak off, but I have it marked, and this is the only one, says G stands for glitter, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's for uh, that, that top coat I only use when I work with glitters. Well, that base on top, of course, as well. So now it will go to the lamp. Pernilla says in the comments, and my thoughts exactly, Pernilla, Omer with gel polish is not my favorite cup of tea. But this one, even I can manage to do so perfectly. My clients are going to love you, Joanna. Well, I have <laughs> to admit that I agree. It looks so easy, Wendy says. I love this, Marie says. Love it, Joanna, Marta says. 
Um, uh, Nadia says, but a glitter acrylic nail under and glass over. No, no, no. Really lovely. Just, just. Uh, but you could also do a glitter oh acrylic yes, nail. Oh, yes, absolutely, yes. I, I just thought you meant acrylic and then glitter. <laughs> No, that, that, that's not necessary. So yes. you either use the reinforcing powder yes. or the glitter to make the surface a little bit more rough or, or more gripping, and then you do your blend over that. And this was just, this was so super fast, Joanna. I've never thought it, it's fast to do ombre with air nails, but I bet it is even faster, or at least as fast as air nails. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you use two colors, of the gel, uh, glass gel, uh, gel yeah. polishes. So this one here, the base was purple. The base so was purple. So like this one here. Yeah. P purple underneath, pur purple at the cuticles, and then I added pink, and then you have three colors: one from the purple, one from the glitter, and one on the bottom. Can we see the bottom of the nail? Can you turn it upside down? So here we see that the uh, purple was very thin and the yes. really the glitter was absorbed to the bottom. We see yes. a slight hue mm -hmm. and then turn back. So you cure that and then on the top purple, middle base and top, yes. and then pink from the, the tip and then yes. blend it together. Yes. So actually it was the like exactly like uh, as I showed. Here was the base and top and here it was the pink before curing. So I, di I did it also in one uh, step. And the added bonus of this, I hear in my ear from Gillian, is that you will have a Louboutin, a Louboutin effect because the underneath is different than the, ups uh, the, the upper view. Yep. So we have a lot at the same time. <laughs> Just a great, love it. How many colors of glass gel polishes are there, Joanna? Here I used, let me count, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I think there is two more. 12. Yes, yes, there are 12, 12, 12 colors. colors. Yeah. The first six colors and then somewhat softer. Let's go back, Gillian, one more time to the beautiful tips because <laughs> I just, in case you didn't make your screenshots at home, this is just glitter, gel polish, base and top, super easy, and everybody can do this. So three, two, one, screenshot. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I love the ge glass gel polishes in general because you can do so much with it, like Joanna showed, but you can also layer designs, you can change colors, you can use it in inlay nails, you can build up the structure. In other words, you need glass gel polishes by Magnetic, only for you. Yeah, Nadia says in the comments, well, everybody needs to have these colors, the glass gel polish, because they will make you happy. Well, trust me, they make you happy. I'm happy. I'm in my happy little place right now because I saw that. And glass gel polish can be used even also in other types of uh, variations of the ombre design. For instance, using them with the must-have glitter gel polishes. Also, those beautiful uh, flesh glitter, glitter gel polishes that we all love in the door. With the glass gel polish, you can change them up a notch as well. So, Joanna, let's go back to you. So, what I did in our next step is also have a little bit uh, of fun with the same glass gel polishes and the new collection, the must have, and they are bronzer, shadow, and lipstick, and foundation. 
So I played a little bit with the colors, and that um, result oh. of <laughs> Again, a uh, ooh moment. So this is all um, must-have glitter from the uh, makeup collections. Yes. Uh, together with glass gel polishes. Yes, so these two are the lipstick. And here you have with blue, with uh, burgundy, and even with brown. Yeah. Here is lipstick with red, with purple, and also this was with dark blue, and this one was the cyan blue. Cool. Here you have the um, shadow con collection. So yeah. shadow is a little bit warmer color. Yeah. So I used it here with pink, with orange, and with yellow. I love the one with orange also, but yeah. also the red one. It looks more goldish, isn't it? Yeah. So here we have the bronzer with brown, and it makes it, it's actually not seen on camera as that. It, in reality, it's more gold, so I love it. And here it's with red and um, with pink. And here is the foundation. Yeah. It almost looks a little bit silver. I love this foundation. It's such a posh color. It's versatile color. So I thought at the beginning it would be good with the um, cold colors. So I did it with uh, green yeah. and then purple. But then I saw that there's a little bit of red inside. So I tried it also with the pink. And then over here I tried three colors. I mean two gel polishes. And then the uh, foundation glitter underneath is the third color. Very cool. Vonica also says, this is for a party. This, these are party nails. Love the party nails. And Jaap and May also had a comment in the, in the comments. Well, that's kind of logical, a comment in the comments. Hello, Jaap and May. <laughs> Jaap and, and uh, May are following the show on the big computer screen, mm -hmm. and they are really enjoying your ideas, Joanna, from <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> yes, we will never forget that you're from Ireland. At least I, I never <laughs> forgot to begin with. <laughs> I love all the glass gel polishes and the gel polish in general. And let me see, because I have a lot of comments. Okay. Uh, Wendy says, I have the lipstick and the green blush. Curious what the result will be. Let's sh show us the result. Gemma is already excited to create her homework. Good job, Joanna. Alexandra Sonia Celeste says, uh, Roberta Pizza is also watching us. S German people, and they're helping. Bianca is translating for us. Um, so have nails like this, and you are the party. That's right, Nadja. You are the party. And then together with your great pastries, the party is, is uh, boundless. Okay, so I want to see how you did this. Okay, perfect. So I have a tip prepared, and this one is with bronzer. So my bronzer tip. And let's be honest, it's already amazing. It's <laughs> oh, it's, it's reflective. So yeah. if you have the flashlight or your phone uh, light, it will be more reflective. Maybe I can turn this on and then um, show you at the end how it looks. Yeah, oh yeah, that's okay. fun. So this one, it already has a top coat, so that's why it's shiny, but yeah. I just want to show you the step by step. So first of all, it's normal gel polish application. So we do the primer, the base coat, and then the color of bronzer twice. And then it comes the glass gel polish. So here I have the burgundy again, and I will only apply a tiny little bit on the top. And in this case, because it's gel polish on gel polish, you yeah. will not need to use the uh, base on top. Oh, okay. O because the surface is already smoothed and a little bit sticky. Yes, and the surface is not uh, rough. Yeah. Because the gel polish underneath is, well, maybe tiny a little bit, but not really. And um, I use, um, again, my ombre brush and blend it, blend it, blend it. And because this uh, has the glitter, the blending, it will be almost as if it was on a glitter nail. Cool. Ta-da. How easy is this? But so cute. And then you have a result like this. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I need to have these in screen as well. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just because I can. Of course, traditionally, I will go the wrong, uh, wrong direction, but that's part of the fun. So let me choose the correct dun camera. Dun. Yeah, I'm going the wrong direction. And now I'm zooming out. And we have them in screen. Well, a little bit further, a little bit further. Here we go. Yes. I oh, love those. Well, shall we do it together? Yes. Three, two, two one. one. Screenshot. Screenshot.
very cool. I will zoom back in a little bit because we of course need to have it clearly visible what you will show us next. Uh, there are people that ha already have some of the glass gel polishes and are now discussing which other ones they need to get. Uh, Magda is asking, can you use green or blue on the bronzer? Would that be fun? You can try. Absolutely, you can try. And I tried the green on silver and more on, uh, on the foundation. But it, the bronzer has a little bit of silver, so it might work. It might work. Yeah, and if you take the deep blue, it, it, mm -hmm. it, 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 it could be mm -hmm. possible. Do you want me to try it? Ooh, that's, that's Ooh. risky Ooh. on live Ooh. television. <laughs> try something that we <laughs> didn't do yet. Well, we'll try it. We'll use my, s my jumper's color, the darker blue. Well, if we will see it and we don't like it, then at least we'll say, oh, it didn't work. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're taking the green. Yeah, I'm taking okay. the green. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and Gemma loves your voice during the screenshot. <laughs> Thanks. It's an important part of Nail Talk Live. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I yeah. have the green, and let's blend it. I applied it a little bit more. Yeah, because you need a little bit more coverage. A little bit more so we can see it better. Well, this is not bad. Not bad at this all. This is fun. I think this would be nice for Christmas design. I agree. <laughs> that was my thought exactly. And Gillian's thought also for Christmas. Very cool, a modern take on Christmas. Yeah, maybe a little um, red um, holly, holly, holly berries and the green into yeah. the holly Very leaves. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Could be on the bottom as well, then the holly will be in the middle or the actual stamping. You could also do this, of course, over the Once Upon a Glitter collection. Yes. That would also be yes. cool. Yes. Oh my goodness, is it normal that the hair of the brush of the, of the ombre brush get a little bit stiff after cleaning? Uh, yes, sometimes it is, especially if you leave it outside of the, um, of, of the box that you keep your brushes normally in. So I would recommend to clean it in the um, uh, gel brush cleaner or um, prep and wipe. But gel brush clean cleaner is really, really good. It will get rid of all the pigment and all the um, whatever dirt is in there, or even if it is stiff from the light, so then uh, if it hardened from the light, so then the brush cleaner will clean it. But of course, you will need a gel after that to condition the hair of your brush. Yes. Yeah. So yes. always use the brush clean gel brush cleaner, and then a little bit of clear gel, uh, whether that's base and top or any of the other uh, gels that we have clear, mm -hmm. and condition your hair and put your brush away. I see that um, uh, Armina from Armenia is saying some of our girls from Armenia are here and they say thank you. Well, thank you for watching also. And Armina, I'm looking forward to see you next week, of course, during the training, recertification training done by Syriza starting this Saturday. And I will see you, I believe, on Monday. So that is going to be fun next week. Um, Trevor is saying you could use glass around edge of the whole nail on base coat layer and blend to make an aurora effect maybe. That's also cool. So around the whole perimeter of the nail, glass, and then blend it in. What Jessica normally calls, I don't know if you know that Trevor, but the twilight zone, because Jessica creates a lot of twilight zones in her designs. Mm -hmm. If you watch next week, you will definitely see a twilight zone. And Jessica will show us more of those Aurora type-ish designs, or at least use that effect as part of her designs. So you need to be there next week, Trevor. Uh, my one was the same, but as Joanna told, the brush with the stiffer hair, it's perfectly fine after I used a gel brush cleaner. So that was another great tip, and Trevor is definitely watching us. Yeah, because she's, Jessica is really the bomb. Aurora, aura, aura effect. Sorry, Magda, it's aura. It's aura, it's not aurora, it's aura. It's oh, oh, it's the aura, aura, aura photos. Aura, yeah. Of course, I have a very special aura. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Somebody once told me during a trade show, and I was like, okay. Anywho, we'll continue with the topic. Before we aura. go back to Joanna, I'm going to take you once more through the homework of this evening. We're flying through it, don't you agree? It's very fast today. The homework assignment create a set of five nails, of which three nails are done in the ombre technique. And you can choose which ombre technique you want to use, and you can do it either on color pops or on a model. We prefer nude pink or red shades, because of course, 
we are very classy, but you can think out of the box and surprise us with your own versions. And with a small touch of Valentine's Day, and what that small touch of Valentine's Day is, Joanna will show us just in a little bit. You will have two weeks to create your homework, and the deadline is on February 7th. Upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album Ombre, and Jessica will handle all of your homework. Do not forget, please back on me, do only four to five step-by-step -step photos and your end photo needs to be full screen. So no black parts, it needs to be very sharp because we want to show everybody, if you win, we want to show everybody what you made. So it's also helpful when we have to decide and judge the homework. So if you do that and hold your telephone like this, not like this, but like this. Um, if you do all that, of course you will get your e-certificate, but you will also make have a chance to win this amazing prize selected by Joanna, the Holo Glitter, Holo Gold Glitter Spray, base and top, gel polish, glass, and an ombre, the ombre brush, so that you are able to create all of these designs when you're back home in your salon. I already mentioned Jessica a couple of times because besides doing the homework and controlling everything and checking everything and giving feedback. Jessica is also an amazing nail art artist and a great nail trainer. But as a nail art artist, she is my guest next week in the show and she will delve together with me into gel polish, but now for nail art, using gel polish for nail art basic techniques. If you watch us on Monday, she will also do advanced techniques. But because it's the first time that we do the international show, it will be basic techniques and she will take us into her world of imagination. And all done with magnetic gel polishes, because magnetic gel polishes have great coverage, are super pigmented, are very nice and thin, so very easy to work with, and are available in hundreds, hundreds of colors, completely com compliant to the EU cosmetic directive, safe to use, and the professional choice for everybody that loves nails. If you don't know magnetic gel polishes yet, this is your moment to start collecting them, we call it collecting your must-haves because we have a special promotion this month and a 20% discount on all of the gel polish colors, not only in Holland, but with all of our distributors as well. For the month of, yes, I'm there, the month of February, we have other exciting e-workshops for you. Henriette is coming from Denmark. She's one of our Nail Talk Live staples or, 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 or anchors, and she's going to talk with me and you about Instafamous. How did she create her following on Insta? What is her view on using Instagram? And especially also, what were her most popular designs? And she will show and explain them to us. A week later, Syriza will come to me and she will show my favorite nail. It is actually the nail that we filmed when Syriza first became part of Nail Talk Live. I asked her, can you please, please, please do the baby boom like you do it? And then with a glittery uh, half moon on it and a matte effect. And she's taking us into how to create that perfect, amazing baby boom nail with Power Gel. Because Power Gel is the product of the month of February. A week later, Natalia Gritsenka, our great trainer of trainers, now living in the Netherlands, will take us into the elegance nail, which is a very elegant nail shape you, and doing inlay designs in that nail. And it's going to be flashy, it's going to be posh, it's going to be amazing, and, and it's utterly Natalia. So that's going to be a lot of fun as it will also be with Demi in the last show of February. And Demi is going to show and explain to us how to refill baby boom nails uh, in a fast, efficient way and how to reshape nails when they lose their balance a little bit. Demi is one of our young trainers here in the Netherlands, very talented, multi-talented, very quick, very fast, and just lovely to have her as my guest here in the show. So that's the month of February. Uh, I already said it's a lot to do. And of course the gel polishes are in a special promotion. Here we have the image of that with the discount and that cash glitter is also one of those amazing glitters that you can then use together with, for instance, brown glass to create like a darker feel of foresty nails or something. Now, anyhow, my amazing is getting the be best of me. Let's go back to you, Joanna, because we have something else to show all of you. Mm -hmm. Another easy, quick design. Yes, so part of your work, uh, workshop, work, homework, <laughs> sorry, it will be to do a little design. So the design that I'm proposing is just something 
maybe not very complicated. It could be stamping, it could be something hand-drawn. And I'm just showing you some, um, some of the designs that I did. And Aww. here I have two hearts and a little bit of white fast liner gel. And the hearts are done with May Choice uh, 21 and um, acrylic, either acrylic powder or the reinforcing powder. Uh, I mean, Very it could cute. be done, yeah. So just like this. And over here, on top of the top coat, of course, both are done. Here I have a just white liner gel. And I will show you how I did those little hearts with white liner gel. Cool. Very quick. Our nail is now finished and it had a little bit of sticky layer, so I removed it. So now it's nice and glossy. And I have a little bit of white liner gel on my paper palette here on the side. And what I'm going to do... It's pure white liner gel? Pure white liner gel. Okay. So what I'm using is my master um, master marbler. You, you see it's well used. <laughs> it's a very popular well, tool. Well, they last a <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> yes. I actually broke one of the parts, but this one, uh, this one is still working this side. So I'm using just the two dots, applying two dots, just like this, beside each other. May says that she finds your designs very cute and s very sweet, beautiful. Monica says, so cute, says he, uh, Jessica, beautiful, beautiful. Everybody loves them. Thank you so And much. Elizabeth Nederland says, whoa, I like them for my Valentine holiday. They're very cute because it's Valentine's uh, season, so let's yeah. do some Valentine's designs. Okay, so I'm using now Katarina's Choice brush, but if you're more comfortable with Jessica's Choice or with Henrietta's Choice brush, it will work as well. And I loaded it a little bit with the, uh, with the, the liner gel, gel right? yes. And here I'm going to find and mark a little spot over here. So this is how far my little heart will go. And I'm starting with the outer s outside of that, of that drop. And just bring it down like this. And the same with this part. Yeah, this is and a quick and it. efficient way to do yeah, little absolutely. hearts. Absolutely. Just filling it in. And once it's done, you can cure it in the lamp for one minute. And it's done. Are you not going to use acrylic powder or reinforcing powder? It can be used, but... So you can use it shiny, leave it shiny yeah, and flat shiny. or a little bit more surfaced. Yes. Textured, that's a surfaced. Yeah. Textured or is the correct English. Yeah. Or you could mix it, I think, for um, if it was used as the, um, as, as, as the, oh gosh, what's it called? The sugaring effect. Yeah. So the other hearts, the red hearts that I did, it would have to be slightly mixed with gel polish so then this consistency of the product it's a little bit wetter and then the acrylic powder or the reinforcing powder will stay easier in the mm, in the gel yeah and it doesn't run anywhere you can just mm -hmm. be very relaxed yep. just create the little dots do you find it a little bit difficult on the all the lights here to see it properly because I sometimes get that feedback I just have uh, I just have a feeling that I don't want to put my head into the camera, <laughs> so <laughs> you can actually still see what I'm doing. <laughs> well, we see it perfectly clear. <laughs> then maybe a few lines on the side. Just very delicate, and the black uh, the white liner gel is just beautiful. So all you do, just dab a little bit. That's just a proposal to what, what can be done with the... Just a little hint of Valentine's Day. Absolutely. What you can do on your design. And you know what? A couple of dotties. Dots are always helpful. Yep. So because it's a white liner gel and it's a little thicker, I like to go with it like I touch the surface and then up. Yeah. Just to make sure that there's no little string that uh, yes. pulls out of the mm -hmm. design. Oh. 
so cute. And it was only a minute. <laughs> it's really special to work in the studio, Syriza says. Yes, it is special, but it's also, Joanna, you are doing a hell of a job. <laughs> it's really cool. Thank you. I think we still have another design. Yes. Uh, but before we go to design, we first have to go back to our youth. Do you remember the 80s? And we had glitter and we had neon and we had roller skates. Well, let's go back to roller disco. Yeah, I know, Elisabeth, a lot of Lady Niltex are born after the 80s. I know, Elisabeth, but some people... I was born in 1978, so I remember the 80s. And um, especially the video uh, cassettes that we had, and it reminds me all of that. Uh, Penilla says, if you put a tiny amount of, for example, red color concentrate in the liner gel, then you can make pink little hearts that stay in place too. Very good tip, Penilla. Thank you. Perhaps I should invite you as well for an e-workshop sometimes in the future, don't you think? Um, yeah, glitter, 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 that was amazing. But we, you chose the uh, roller disco uh, commercial, Joanna chose that, because of a special reason, didn't you, Joanna? Yes, absolutely, because we can use the um, roller collection uh, also with the glass gel polishes, and it will be amazing. So I have here just just uh, the a beautiful collection and I have the green. Somebody requested green before. So let's try it and see how it will look on Let's Groove. And I also love the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> so here. The Let's Groove already has a slight groove. greenish to yeah. to hue to it. Yes. Tiny little bit. And let's get back to the brush. Of course, you could also use it over the Starburst glitters. Yes. Gillian is, is asking me in my ear. Yeah, absolutely. Any any glitters. Oh, oh yeah, this is really... It makes the the, the, the base glitter also more greenish in appearance. It and kind of gold. pulls the, the green out of it. Yeah, and more gold as well. The yeah. gold is seen more. Can we see the side shot, Gillian? Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. I want to see one more. One more color? Yeah, one more variation. Okay. Just so because we can. Let's have the pink, Dancing Queen. Yeah, ooh. ooh. So, what should we have it with? Red or pink? Mm. Red or pink? Or purple? Pur 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 purple. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? And there it is, coming purple. So let me use these. Purple, oh, this already purple. looks good. I think it could be completely covered and it would be nice. Yeah. But we have an uh, ombre uh, collection, to, or um, ombre subject for today. So we're concentrating on that, but there's so many ways we can use the glass gel polishes. I absolutely love them absolutely in love and with it's them. so easy because the fading the ombre is just done again this is so a, a little bit more demure it's a little bit softer mm. but i love those types of of nails that it's a monochromatic 
color combinations. And Very you can nice. use more than one because now we use only one color. But if yeah. we use more, yeah. maybe it would be more of that. So do you want me to show you more? Yes, of course. Okay. So here we have the lipstick. Oh. And the lipstick is covered with burgundy, a little bit of red, and pink. Very cool. So this is the lipstick glitter. Lipstick glitter gel polish, yeah. And then the burgundy, red, and pink. This yes. is beautiful. Also, next to the color next to it is also beautiful. This is l a very classy way to do ombre, I have to say. Yes. To be honest, I forgot what color that was. <laughs> we have something similar. <laughs> We, we have few colors that are similar yeah, yeah. to this. Yeah. But you could also choose the pink version. Oh, yes. It could be pink. It could be red. Yeah. Very nice. We need this, a screenshot of this as well. There you have. So and I will show you one more thing. Three, two, one. Screenshot. Very nice. Love it. I, oh, Evelyn says it's her favorite. Stunning combo, Tracy says. My favorite... I love it, Sylvia says. Valentine, I'm coming, Gemma says. <laughs> uh, people love this uh, combination. It's really Valentine. Oh, wow, hearts, hearts in eyes. It's a glombre. That's funny, glombre. Deborah. <laughs> it's a glombre. I love that name. Yeah, I love, I love the it. name as well. It's Deborah really, is a little really bit good. strange sometimes, but her ideas are just amazing. A glombre. No, absolutely fantastic. Great combination. Amala is saying also, hello, Amala. Nice that you're also watching us. And if you have any difficulty with the translations, remember that on Friday, the e-workshop will be made available with translations in 16, 17 different languages. So everybody knows what to do. Of course, it is not 100% perfect, but we aim for 80% perfect in the translations. And that makes it easier for you to understand your homework and the techniques. So a worldwide family, magnetic. Uh, you wanted to show us something. Um, I will show you a new design, the next design. And um, maybe before that, I will show you the variation. So here I have also the pink glitter with pink glass, then um, ba bamboo. And here also it will be the next demonstration where we will show, well, I will show you the mm, not only using the glass gel polishes because we talk a lot about the glass gel yeah, polishes, yeah. but let's talk about other gel polishes as well. Yeah. We have other. So here, these two are done with, uh, ju uh, actually these three are done with normal gel, well, normal covering gel polishes. And I'm going to demonstrate for you this one. Okay. And I have, um, Camilla is asking for the e-workshops. Can we use any of the above combinations? Yes, you can. Emma is saying that her girls are very happy with the translations. Uh, thank you. Well, I'm happy that they're happy because then it means it works. Uh, Vonica says, oh no, it's just too much for one show. <laughs> it is a little bit much, but it's still relatively early. And I have the winners, of course, in a little bit. Great ombres. Hologram pink glitter sprays, Magda is asking. Sorry? Was it holographic uh, pink glitter spray uh, with on the nail? On the, the one that I just showed? Yeah. Uh, yes, it's, holo it's holographic, um, pink and pink and sorry, blue and green, blue and green, uh, gold, red gold, and this one is pink, uh, blue and violet. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here, just I found this one. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, <laughs> I'm also uh, almost suffocating here. Let's go Those back. are cool. What are these? Let's go back. These are, my dear Pepine, they are the Roller Disco Collection. Wow. With the purple yeah. and pink. pink. Under the uh, Underneath is the Dancing Queen. And here we have a Let's Group with green and yellow. Perfect. Perfect. I S wish it was Christmas again. Stunning. Yes, stunning. Oh, why Christmas? Like, look at this one. That's perfect for Valentine's, isn't for it? Any time. Yeah, any time. But <laughs> you see how you can reuse and recombine products together to create a whole new palette of colors for your clients. Mm -hmm. And that's the amazing thing for me this evening, that you see all of those different possibilities, adding a little bit of glass here, a little bit of glitter there, and all of a sudden we have something completely new. But we have another thing coming, of course. 
yeah, like if that wasn't enough, then I'm showing you another one. So in this um, this demo, I will show you the uh, selfie time gel polish and uh, the selfie time gel polish. It will be again as application of. Let me apply first the primer. Yeah, and Li Susie says in the comments, I think that the silver cat eye top gel sh would also be nice with the glass gel pink. Silver cat, cat eye yes. top gel with uh, glass. Yes. It's not Absolutely. ombre anymore. Yeah. Although you could do an ombre cat eye effect thing. I actually did this uh, during the um, last winter or the or the year before. I have some videos on my Instagram, and uh, I did the cat eye effect with the glass gel polishes with blue and green perfine. It's just absolutely fantastic. Oh, I have to check out your Insta videos. Mm -hmm. So, this is the selfie time one layer. Just thin. Thin. Don't worry. And I have blue green uh, glitter spray, and I will use it like this. Let's catch the uh, glitter. Let's well, it sprays a little bit everywhere, but let's catch as much as we can. Back and that selfie time shade is so beautiful. And then with the mermaid glitter, it it picks out both the purple side and the blue side. Very nice. And thirty seconds in the lamp. <gasps> like this, it's already beautiful. Yes. Like this is already beautiful. And Veronica, I know sometimes you may wonder, I don't know where to start, but you can rewatch the show, of course, a couple of times and then freeze frame for your favorite part and then create your homework, of course. And um, Or just have fun. <coughs> or just have just fun. Have fun. Uh, you can use the glitters, <coughs> in, uh, the reflective glitters you can use. There's so many colors of reflective glitters. You can use all possible glitters that you have in the spray. All gel polish with glitters. And where, where are there any glitters? Colored acrylics with glitters. Oh my goodness, <laughs> just yeah. came to me. Gels <laughs> with glitter, sparkling yeah. white. Gel po uh, power yeah. gel. Um, um, Sabine says that her the uh, mermaids are her favorites. Karin Kramer says, I love the dragon video on Insta from you, Joanna. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thank oh you. my God, Gina says, Cerisa uh, says, I would never combine these colors, but wow. So uh, people are really, okay. So we have the, so now, uh, oh, Harriet says, you can also use the mystical shimmer top coat to get a similar effect. Very smart yep. again. But now we have the coarseness mm -hmm. of the glitter that you will use for the ombre, I think. Yes. Okay. Yes. So my idea was, um, because... We, we did some um, uh, international show and Dutch show before about ombre. So I wanted to show you something else, something different. And that's why I came up with this idea that why not use some glitters? So we have the base done and I'm applying a little bit of purple, maybe a little bit more. Like purple over here. Also not, uh, not putting it into the corners because mm -hmm. I'm going to blend it. And let's, because it's a green and blue uh, glitter, so it's not very warm. So let's use cooler colors, and that's fuchsia. I think this will be enough. And let's blend it. Oh, I'm sorry, and base on top. A little bit of base on top as well. Of course, you could also use the perfect polisher brush if you are afraid to get the yes. glitters inside your brush. Yes. That was a tip that Gillian gave me. Yes. Um, and the perfect polisher brush is, of course, that brush that we developed. A gel polish brush on a handle like a normal brush. Here we have it. An idea of our colleague Miranda. And the perfect polisher is great because it's easy to clean. Yes, absolutely. And I actually was going to mention that. So thank you so much, uh, Gillian, for mentioning it because I would forget. Okay, so we have purple, we have pink, and we yep. have base on top. Yep, fuchsia. So purple. And I'm again wiping my brush. And just blending it, blending it, blending it quickly. Oops. Back, let's get back the bristles. And also pressing them down. It may look like a mess at the beginning. One. But these two colors are slightly um, brighter than, for example, the red or the pink that we used before. Yeah. So maybe it would be good to cure it for a few seconds and then uh, apply second layer. So build up the coverage a little slightly bit. Slightly, yes. Yes. 
You can see it is already working. Yeah, it's nice. Looks a little bit pale. So yeah. I will add another layer. So I cure this for 30 seconds, even 10 seconds probably would be enough. I and think so. Yeah. Because it's clear. Yeah, absolutely. And then add another layer. And yes, this is the glass gel polish. Martina, you are asking, is this glass ge gel? Yes, it is. Yes. And um, uh, even kijken. So people are, this is just so much easier and not so much cleaning, Henriette says. So yeah, it is super, oh, she's back out of light again. Yeah, 10 seconds, that's very fast. <laughs> and now I'm applying the second layer. So we see it builds up the color now. A little bit more and the fuchsia color. And Magda suggests that Lady Violet would also look awesome. Oh, yes. That's also a good idea. Yes, uh, like a darker underneath, I, any color, any color. But then with Lady Violet, I think you would have to use maybe black near the cuticles because Lady Violet itself. Yeah, or the it's Lady, v Lady Violet instead of the purple glass. Ah, yes. So it's a little bit more tricky. Yes, then I it would work like this color here, something darker and yeah, then. that's very cool. Yes, because it's black. Here it's actually black uh, gel polish, so it is slightly covering. Mm -hmm. And then we have the glass gel polish, and it's fading into uh, this one is, if I'm not mistaken, this one is actually uh, Bloody Mary. Oh. And it becomes lighter. Well, uh, black fits Bloody Mary, I yes, feel. Yes, yes. And it with the glitter spray of red and gold glitter spray, it becomes lighter, this color. So here I'm blending. I'm actually more taking it away, the, the too much of gel polish that I applied. Oh, so it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's like a fairy tale. Yeah. Valentine's. I feel like Tinkerbell watching this. <laughs> oh, very tender. Loving, 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 loving. Let's put it into the lamp. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go in the light. Are, are you going to finish this design also? Would you like me to? What are I you going to finish it with? I, I can put um, a little um, a little heart, or I can also show you where else you can use um, glass gel polishes with the... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, because you can use the glass pol gel polishes also differently. Mm -hmm. So now we saw how to do this fading. Mm -hmm. And let's have another look at what the different possibilities are. Do you oh want to do yeah. that now or shall I first do the winners of the prizes? Yeah, do the Oh, we first. are here the very <laughs> first time in the International E-Workshop that I'm going to announce the winners of the challenge. We first always look at what was the challenge two weeks ago. The homework assignment of Ceriza for the Blush Meets Power Gel Almond Nail was create a matching set of five nails or color pops with this deep hybrid effect and combine at least two different technical products like acrylics, gels, power gel, or builders in a bottle. So it's time to announce the winners. Let me first check. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. We do that. Yeah, yeah, But first, the general feedback that Theresa gave everybody, to everybody. I would like to thank you so much for watching the very first International E-Workshop. It was heartwarming to read your comments and look at your homework. And as far as I'm concerned, you are all winners, so congratulations. And a big round of applause for yourself. Well, I'll join in that round of applause. We had a lot of people for this very first e-workshop already giving in their homework. So I'm very happy that it's a success and that all of you enjoyed creating your designs. About the very first um, winner, this is what's said by Ceriza. Great to see these nails in the set. What a beautiful and deep effect. I think it's really cool to see your designs at the bottom of the nails as well. I'm secretly a little jealous of the person who was allowed to model this beautiful set. And this is by the winner Virginie Quintar. Virginie from wow. France. Congratulations with your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set of nails and your beautiful work. Virginie, thank you, congratulations from France. The second winner of this evening. Yes, I love French, and especially in this amazing combination. This set is both cool and chic, and even reminds me a bit of a concrete look. These designs looks 
equally good on every nail, even though you didn't have much work to sp uh, or space to work with the French reverse. Congratulations, Joyce Laugensen from Denmark. Joyce from Denmark, congratulations with your beautiful concrete deep effect nails. Congratulations with your beautiful nails. Well done, well done. France, Denmark, and then we go to another country for the final winner of this evening. What a beautiful set of nails. I would really like to wear this design on my own nails. With the beautiful bright elements and mysterious depths, this design reminds me of stars in the galaxy. The rhinestones, of course, complete the whole look, and these were done by Jenny, Jenny Hebel from Grünberg, Germany, I guess. Jenny, congratulations with your beautiful, beautiful, wow. beautiful set of uh, beautiful red, mysterious, deep nails. Mesmerizing is the con uh, correct word. Congratulations, all three of you. You are the very first winners of Nail Talk Live, the international workshop, and this is your prize. The beautiful blush uh, display, together with the whole collection of the blush sinful collection, two types of chameleon flakes and power gel clear in the tube. So congratulations, we will send out your um, prizes tomorrow, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, and please enjoy them, create even more spectacular, beautiful, magnetic nail, nail art, and make all of your clients happy and make us happy. And for the people that don't know that yet, I love an unboxing. I just adore unboxings. So take us into how the uh, kit or the, or the price arrives at your place. Congratulations, I will remember you as the first winners of the International E-Workshop. Thank you for participating and for all who didn't win, you are winners in yourself. You created beautiful work, you achieved more, you really practiced and really got out of the box. And next time, another chance to win. So, Joanna, let's go back to you. Oh my God, guys, congratulations. These designs are fabulous. I'd love to have these nails actually as well. So well done. And getting back to our subject, uh, let's do and have a look what else you could do with the glitters. And here I have just some examples. So the this is done with pink and that one is done uh, with gold holographic glitter spray. Cool. And another one you mentioned earlier about the uh oh wow yeah our top coat the uh, cat eye top coat yeah so this is <laughs> the cat eye top coat i just found it <laughs> and this is cat eye top coat on top of i think white and then a little hint of a uh, fuchsia glass gel polish very cool it's I'm very cool. i'm sorry it's a christmasy design but there no. It's just showing that uh, that it also can be done like that. And then I think it would be nice to mention the vertical um, vertical uh, ombre as well. It's not my favorite, but what I did, I played a little bit uh, a vertical way and then I sprayed the mm, um, mermaid glitter spray on top. And then uh, you don't have to worry about the perfect ombre here as well. Because it hides it a little bit? It hi yeah, it hides Hides it imperfections? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, that's mm -hmm. good for but somebody like me. Yeah, but this is a rough surface. So yeah, it's, it's sugared. Yeah, sugared. So maybe cool. not for everybody. And I love that little pony, my little pony, my little <laughs> pony. Is it a pony? Yes. Oh, it's uh, our Thank stamping. <laughs> it's um, actually pony slash unicorn on our stamping uh, design. And here, one more thing. Because we have the year of the dragon. Yeah. So oh, this is cool. Here are uh, some tips that I did. And this is only the uh, glass gel yeah, polishes. So you layer the confetti parts over on top of each other like scales? Yes. That's a hell of a job. It's, it is a little bit of work uh, to, to do it on the whole nail. And to be honest, it slips a little bit from the confetti because the confetti is specific. It's um, it's it's a little bit flat, and uh, yeah, the gel polish slides a little bit. But um, well, it can be achieved, and that's what uh, what I did. And I encapsulated with clear builder gel. 
Yeah. Um, but inside, it's completely done with our glass gel polishes. Well, I planned the design and I planned the shape of the nail because it's built from the tip to the cuticle area. So you have to know what you're doing when using this design. And um, I actually did a video about that as well uh, last year. And here is just a variation in the red and gold uh, and yellows and oranges. Beautiful. That is also beautiful. Yeah. And I have to mention, it's exactly almost the same glitter uh, or the confettis inside. It's just the color that it's made with the gel It's polishes. the same confetti inside. Yeah. Maybe I picked a few more blues or for this one, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly It's just the same. amazing. And people love it, love the depth. May says, wow, the dragon nails look awesome. Ariette says, confetti glitter is just so damn awesome in so many ways. Alexandra says, oh, this is a cherry on the pie. Love these confetti designs, Tracy says. It's a beautiful 3D effect. Whoa. Oh, um, and, and, and Sylvia wants to know, on what name can we follow you on Instagram? What is your Insta name? It's Joanna Magnetic on Instagram, also um, Magnetic Ireland, um, Magnetic Nail Design Magnetic Ireland. That's also two uh, accounts. Joanna Magnetic and Magnetic Nail Design Ireland. Yes. So, you know where to go for even more inspiration. I love these nails. I don't know which is my favorite. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of lost. I think the glitter spray with a super easy uh, ombre that I didn't expect to be so easy. Because I was like, oh, totally flabbergasted about the possibilities. Oh, you have even more in your hands. She has more in her hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> so if that wasn't enough, then this is our power gel and glass gel polishes encapsulated inside. And of course, a little bit of confetti. It is just beautiful. And there is already, Tanya says, bitte ein workshop. So she would love to have a workshop in this. I have to, uh, I ha you have to come back, Joanna. With pleasure. <laughs> because this is so inspirational, so beautiful. I just love it. You cannot choose a favorite. It's not fair, Trevor. I know it's not fair, Trevor. But and um, I think the favorite of tonight, besides all the designs, is the Glombre. Because Glombre. everybody's using Glombre, Glombre, Glombre. We're going to Glombre all over Europe <laughs> with these beautiful designs made by you, Joanna. Um, I will go through the homework once more, just so, in so that all of you know what the homework is. <coughs> Make a set of five nails, of which three nails are done in the ombre technique. So, five nails, three nails are in the ombre technique. You can choose whichever technique you want to use from this evening and surprise us with your color combination. And it needs to have a small touch of Valentine's Day. It can be done on a model, it can be done on color pops, but a set of five nails and three of those nails are in the ombre technique. And it has to be, of course, a matching set. It has to tell a story together. It has to match. If you do that, you will have two weeks to create your homework until it's February 7th. Upload using the link that you can find in the album. If you need improvement, Jessica will contact you. And of course, don't forget to only send in four step-by-step -step photos and a fifth screen, full, full screen photo. So no black, no parts missing, just a full picture of your end result, because that's easy when we want to show everybody what you made. If you do that, you will get your e-certificate that you can show in your salons that you did this amazing workshop with Joanna from Ireland. But you also have a chance to win this great prize. And we now know how to use these products. Glitter spray, holo gold, gel polish base and top, which you can use as a base, as a top, or as a buffer in between your fading. Of course, a glass gel polish, the pink and the ombre brush by Magnetic, so that also you can create fast, easy and super beautiful ombre nails, just mesmerizing all of your clients. Um, I have to go to uh, Joanna for your final word because I have to thank you. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. And being here for the first time, I have to say I was a little bit nervous, but I, I really like it. And thank you, Pepine and Jill, for everything. It's so, so nice to be here. I, I love Magnetic. And did you want to show us something more? Because I see something on the table, but I then I have to zoom out, but I cannot see what I have to zoom out when I cannot see the table. I just applied. Uh, uh, let them uh, lay down here. If you would like to have a final look of... Um, of the variations that you could do, but then just get back to the homework and yeah, just to show you 
what, uh, one more time, what can be done. Yeah, but perhaps you can put it next to the beautiful nails. Shall I zoom out a little bit more? Just for you? Just for you? So, like this? Is this good? Yeah? So together, three, two, one, screenshot! screenshot. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful work and so much this evening. Magda says, well done, Joanna. Naomi also says, well done, Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. Sabine says, great show. Anna says, Tracy Ogan is thanking you, Joe. You were phenomenal. Wendy is thanking you. Lydie says that you're awesome. I already knew that you are You're awesome. Uh, Natalie Nils from Belgium, she also thanks you. We all love Magnetic Series, says. Um, uh, Joyce is saying this was a great life, so easy and beautiful and happy everything was, uh, that it, it was fixed. So I'm also happy that everything was fixed in time and that you all joined us. So once more, so Joanna, thank you. And do you have a last word that you want to say to our viewers? Thank you so much. I hope you will enjoy doing your homework. Uh, I'm sure it's easy and also something that you'll be able to show and um, give in, in the nail art services for your customers as well. And I hope you'll enjoy it. Who doesn't like glitter? <laughs> well, I certainly <laughs> do. If you are inspired by this show, if you want to know more about magnetic nail design, or if you want to find a distributor closest to you, don't hesitate and send us an email at info at magneticnaildesign.com. That's info at magneticnaildesign.com. If you are interested in becoming a trainer, in becoming a distributor, or to get in contact with your local distributor, do not hesitate, or you send me a private messenger on Facebook. Don't use Insta, Facebook, because I'm old school, and I will help you further. For now, I want to thank all of you watching us tonight. I'm sorry for the technical hiccup we had. I want to thank Joanna once more because it was amazing that she was here. I want to thank Gillian behind the scenes for making all of this possible. I want to thank all of you once more and see you soon. See you at Nail Talk Live.